called me and he repeatedly kept calling our series a film and he kept on saying teri picture dekhunga 13th october but teri picture dekhni hai i wouldn't miss it you know i used to keep changing weight very often eventually i told him show it's a series <laughs> Hello and welcome to India today. This is Anita Brito in conversation with the entire team and cast of Sultan of Delhi. Welcome, guys. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Firstly, a huge congratulations on the trailer. I was sitting there and I was just reading all the comments, and the comments are brilliant, all positive, and people are very, very happy to, you know, just they are just waiting to see uh, Sultan of Delhi. I want to know from all of you all what is the best compliment you all have received so far. One of my <laughs> distributors called up and said. When did you make this film? <laughs> so that was that was mine. Yeah, Anju. Exactly the same thing. Like uh, somebody told me that now cinema is coming to OTT. Hmm. So everybody who is making and thinking about making a series has really need to up their game in terms of scale and content, Correct. and it has to have a cinematic element. After the teaser, after the trailer, this is the first few things hmm. which uh, I've been hearing a lot, and I think this is quite different from what we normally. Yeah, yeah. Again. as a compliment. Right. Tahir, you? Um, again, all my friends and family have been talking about the scale because uh, the hard thing about shooting something so exciting is that you're not allowed to talk about it. We're mm. not allowed to put up pictures. You can't even tell us. So when when it comes out, the surprise of the scale of the whole thing, whether it's a train ka shot or a car in the desert, that. And um, uh, about the character, I think the best compliment I've got from a director is I never imagined you doing something like this, and that's mm. always very exciting to hear. Sure, sure. And scale mm. always because Milan yes. sir always does that. You yeah. know, unki har film mein wo scale rehta hai. Or her cheese mein not only in like uh, like visual, right. scale in music, Correct. scale in writing, scale in dialogues, everything. Right. What about you? So uh, after the trailer again, because हम लोगों ने किसी ने भी कुछ post नहीं किया था because look ही ऐसा है और चीज ऐसी है. तो Everybody loved the trailer. Uh, trailer. I had people message me or call me or uh, you know put stories, but I could sense their enthusiasm from those messages. G- generally, people just appreciate it. They mm-hmm. say nice things, but very seldom are you able to sense that enthusiasm even yeah. on a message that they really, really did like it. Because the trailer in itself is wonderful. It it's a plethora of emotions, plethora mm-hmm. of characters. Everything has been seamlessly put together. It's it's very large scale. Has a has a Or of its own, and yeah. uh, and for my character, I think a uh, lot of people were just very excited about the way I was looking, uh, and the kind of shades that I was going to be portraying in the show. So they were very excited to see me as that character because many haven't ever imagined me Correct. play a character like that. How excited were you to play this character? Very um, excited, and I think that's why a little nervous also because I didn't want to. I mean, I was a little conscious about playing her as a typical vamp that we've seen in the past. and i wanted to add a little bit of other kind of emotions um to ha i think it took me a little bit of a while and shankri mere dimag mein bahut time tak chali hai because humne casting hamari ho gayi thi november mein and we finally went on floor till april so i lived with her in my head for a very long time i used to keep asking milan sir ki main ye karungi main ye nahi kar sakti aise kar sakti hu kya jab bhi hamari baat hoti thi and he used to be very relaxed and just very like in awe of shankri <laughs> सो so, मुझे तब में और भी प्रेशर फील होता था कि अच्छा ये ठीक निकलेगा ना तो बट उसी कैरेक्टर में मजा भी आता है जिसके बारे में आप थोड़ा नर्वस होते हैं ना सो या इट इट लवली जर्नी निशान बिगेस्ट A film, and he kept on saying, "Tere picture dekhunga 13th October, but tere picture dekhni hai. I won't miss it. I won't miss it." Correct. Yeah, and then eventually, मेरे को मतलब लग रहा था कि मैं इसे काटू ना काटू, because he's saying so many things, so many good things about the trailer. तो मेरे को यूँ भी बुरा लग रहा था कि मैं बताऊँ इसे नहीं बताऊँ. तेरा को तक पता चल ही जाएगा. लेकिन eventually, I told him, "Show. It's a series." I like it's, it's a show. It 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 feels great, you know, Nishant, uh, because so, when we started out. Uh, it was during the pandemic that we were writing the show and putting it together in our heads and uh, there was some very very interesting work that was happening on ott at that time right. great shows that were coming out shows like mirzapur like delhi crime patal lok i was watching a lot of it during the pandemic uh, and uh, you know I, i i felt that somewhere around that time around 2021 Uh, 
I felt that that kind of approach A is not me and B may uh, may be overdone over the next couple of years. There's a tendency to, you know, for many people, many shows to look alike, Correct. you know. So there was a lot of clarity of thought when we said that we want to want this to be a cinematic experience. Uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, staying away from foul language, uh, brutality, um, uh, having <clears throat> less of night scenes, hmm. uh, placing scenes in pleasant environments, the approach to the lighting, the approach, the, the, the flamboyance of the clothes, <clears throat> the larger than life uh, uh, writing and picturizing. Okay. So, uh, this was very clear in my head and uh, at every pitch or at every stage, whether it was a discussion with Disney and Hotstar or it was a discussion with Reliance or with my art directors, my director of photography, my writers, my action directors, it was very, very clear. You know, for instance, if there was a scene that was to be shot in a go-down uh, and I was driving to set one day and I saw a ship, an abandoned uh, ship, I think hmm. it's being broken or something. Okay. And I said, well, what is the ship doing here? So we just turned off the road and we went and we went up and saw it. And I said, let's do it here. It's a shootout. Hmm. And that's what changes a sequence Correct. rather than doing it in a garage or in a by lane. So we had this idea of, of going to the run of Kutch, of going to big palaces, opening the vistas. I had seen a show called Fargo, oh. which had left a very strong impression on my mind. And I liked the openness of that show. Even though the drama is very intricate, but the, the there's a there's a wonderful balance between the mm. between the intimacy and the uh, and the uh, intensity nice. and yet the scale. Right. So it's nice to hear that today. You are associated with with a series or with a film. People think that it is going to be a grand. It will be on a grand scale, and there will be a lot of stories around it. But for you, uh, because you have done films in the past, and this is your OTT debut, if I may so. Uh, what were the challenges for you as a director when so, you... I think the biggest challenge was, uh, there were two uh, very uh, two very big challenges. One was uh, to not have the, uh, have stardom as, uh, as, one, as one of the bows in your armory, okay. you know, uh, to, to, when you have a very big star, a uh, very, uh, a superstar uh, on, on 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 your film, you sometimes uh, tend to lean on them. Right. You know, lean on their stardom, lean on the fact that they will take a big box office opening and they will have millions of fan clubs and you know a lot of interest in what they're doing next. Correct. And automatically, your project comes to that level, hmm. to an A or an A plus level. So to be able to do that with a relatively younger cast, a different kind of a cast. Uh, of course, they're all successful in what mm. they're doing, but uh, there's a difference. So that was one challenge which I committed myself to. There was a there was a, a need to complete seven to eight minutes of edited footage at the end of every shooting day. Okay. And uh, I had to, without compromising on the emotion of the scene, on the treatment of the scene. I had to juggle my mind and use all my experience to, in terms of shot design, okay. how to get the maximum out of a day. Right. Uh, physically also, it was very exhausting, very draining, mentally also. And I had to really be very patient because it is an ensemble cast. So actors do have questions. Yeah. They do have habits. Uh, they do have, uh, you know, their own quirks. So, you know, keeping them all together. And these are all actors who I have not worked with before. And that was a deliberate decision. Because with actors who you worked with before, the comfort level is much higher. Correct. You know, they can understand from a sigh or a glance yeah. or a nod what is required. Correct. They know your temperament, they know your mood, they know your speed. Here, it was all new, new relationships, a new environment, a new amount of output every day. And I'm very happy that I, I took it up because it's taught me a lot. 
uh, it's taught me that it's actually made my mind simpler in terms of uh, being a filmmaker. It's simplified things for me. Right. I know I can shoot eight, eight minutes of film a day. So I'm a very happy man. <laughs> I was just going to ask you, were you happy at the yes, end of this absolutely. and you it's answered that? New. Right? It's, it's, it's a new joy. Yeah, absolutely. But what about you, uh, all of you? <coughs> what were the challenges for you all working with him for the first time and at the same time the entire series? How was it? Uh, well, uh, I mean, uh, it was uh, nothing close to a challenge when you get an opportunity to work with, uh, you know, a filmmaker like Milan sir. It was just something which comes your uh, way and you realize, ki, okay, yeah, probably you have done certain kind of work and you have, you have traveled and come to this point. And this is probably uh, probably that opportunity if, uh, you know, you do your bit well, mm -hmm. it could be a career defining moment. So I just took it uh, to start off with like that as an opportunity. Challenging uh, things were basically because it's, uh, it's set in 1960s and though most of the things in terms of the palette and the scale has been set by some marvelous, uh, you know, technicians uh, in art uh, department, uh, DOP and everybody, costumes, mm -hmm. a very integral part of the show. Uh, the, the main challenge was, as, a, as Sir said, ki, yeah, there is a certain amount of uh, uh, edited uh, uh, footage which you need to deliver every day. So, and of course, there was a, a clear choice of uh, having that kind of scale. So, mm -hmm. execution was sometimes challenging because you have to hit your marks as in you have to, if a scene has to be shot in, uh, you know, daybreak, yeah. sunrise or sunset. So you have to prep and you have to just, uh, everybody has to get there and do and can that scene uh, with a lot of efficiency. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, execution, I would say just to be there, just to do your job uh, promptly, just be there, be, be quick, be effective and uh, in sync with your director. Yeah. Shahid, what about you? Uh, the challenge for me, I've done OTT once before mm -hmm. um, and the format was very different because my equation was with the two lead actresses only and over here, I had to maintain an equation with every character that okay. I was meeting. So, I had an equation with the character Nishant was playing with the way Vinay Pathak, there's Harleen and, and Mehreen and, and uh, Anjum and sometimes on the same day, you could be meeting four mm -hmm. actors and doing scenes. So, to jump from, you know, episode 7 to episode 4 to episode 3 is a challenge yeah, in itself correct. because it's never mm -hmm. short linear but at the same time you meet five different uh, people four different people on the same mm -hmm. day which is where the director comes in of course because mm -hmm. he's seeing the thing in totality but it can be a, a quite a juggle when mm -hmm. you're shooting like that that was a challenge absolutely anupriya i think our challenges are far less as compared to the challenges that the director the captain of the ship the entire cast and you know the crew faces and just getting this such kind of a mammoth of a project together and to execute it. So, and for us, it's more of an opportunity to be there and do that and go through the grind while doing it because it's so rewarding in its own way. Every day was Correct. rewarding. The challenges would be probably uh, for me dressing up <laughs> because it used to take two hours to get the look correct. Um, though, but it was also a journey. I had like some, some 13, 15 look, uh, look tests, if I'm not wow. wrong. Yeah. At least some of them at my place, some many at the studio with proper setup, with lighting each and every time, with camera, blah, blah, blah. And I was glad that that kind of an effort we was being put in. We never just said yes to whatever because, yeah. you know, it's quite a task to get everybody and do a full fl fledged production for a photo shoot yeah. for I each of the look tests. Every actor tried every costume they want, including the shoes. Oh. Yeah. 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 So I've, I've yeah. tried even the ones yeah, I haven't yeah. done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. And number of times. Yeah. And in my case, uh, uh, you know, I used to keep changing weight very often. So I have a water retention thing. So huh. one day I'm one kg more, one day I'm one kg less. So they so would be just, fit it, yeah. they would keep Oof. fitting it over and over again. And I would also not be able to help <coughs> them in the process. So I used to come... A, stipulated time before the shoot as well mm. the takas and takus and all that you take there forever that that used to be the charging process because you're always con constantly anxious also for being on set on right but having said that that was one of the biggest joys of being shankri as well the costumes that i was getting to wear and of course the character that i was getting to play nishan for you I think in terms of challenges, we as actors, as creative people, we are always looking for new challenges, looking for things that scare us because at the end of the day, they are the things that, uh, you know, get the best out of us. But here, I think for me, while playing RP, 
the biggest challenge was to repay the faith that Milan sir put in me because because sometimes as an actor when you audition and then you get selected oh. you always feel okay you have auditioned for it so they have seen you and then you are coming on set you're like okay they selected you like that but Milan sir just met uh, for half an hour one hour we sat together and he told me everything about the character and then he's like okay you're on and then you're wondering you don't want to let this person down when you come on set so that was the biggest challenge to come there prepared and just to not let him down right. not let his trust go away you know that that was the biggest challenge as a person i would and as an actor also uh, milan so what about so the the series is set in the 60s yeah. what about the 60s uh, movies do you miss a lot you know what do you think that we are missing right now i think uh, <clears throat> 60s and 90s both yeah, both the era i think there's a uh, a, a, a certain kind of uh, magic uh, of of that time, you know, whether it was the the clothes, whether it was the movies, whether it was um, the way ladies dressed up yeah. and went to parties and had their, you know, uh, or uh, whether it was how people spoke. Uh, it, there's, there was something in the in the music, in the fashion, in the the whole. Uh, there was a certain kind of bling to it and I, I believe that happened because that was the time when the the child of partition hmm. became an adult and he discovered uh, his youth. Correct. That's when India actually entered its 20s and 30s right. and that's when people started, had, had gone through the hardship of, of the of the 50s, mm. which was possibly a very difficult time, mm. you know, uh, trying to find their feet and then they found their feet Correct. and they discovered Bombay and they discovered the cabaret and they discovered, you know, uh, music and uh, LP records and, uh, you know, gramophones and uh, bars and dancing and everybody was smoking, everybody was drinking, everybody was having a great time and, you know, Hollywood films were being watched and consumed. So, I think even in our show, that's the time when the all these children of partition actually start making their mark mm. around 62, 63, 64, 65. And there was a very risk element, you know, if you, if you, if you look back and if you see the kind of parties they had, the kind of clothes, the kind of cabaret dancers, the kind of, you know, all, all the fun that they had. There was something to it. There was a panache, yeah. you know, which which a Pran had or a Devanand had or a or a, a Saira Banu had, which which you don't see today. Correct. You know, it's all become a bit of a mishmash. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing is really standing out. Right. So uh, I like that, that 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 that's what I like about it. Yeah. yeah. And a trend that you would really like to bring back, uh, or you want to adapt from an from a, from any industry, and something that you want to let go of, a trend. A uh, trend, uh, I think uh, the only trend I want is, to, I want to see consistently is what used to be there, good writing and great music. That's what, that's what for me, it's, it's all about. It's about good writing and great music. And, uh, and uh, everything else follows, you know, the actors feed off it, the director yeah. feeds off it, the audience feeds off it. And um, yeah, uh, I think we should, uh, we should be very much aware that who we are today as filmmakers or as people was uh, probably set up by a lot of risk takers at that time. There were people who went and borrowed money on hundis to make films. There were people who brought in the ownership system of flats. Yeah. There were people who um, built cinema halls and theatres and across the country. We are reaping the benefit of that. There were, there were people like uh, Manto and uh, uh, Raja Mehdi Ali Khan and Salim Javed mm -hmm. who, who laid the foundation of modern writing, you know. So, it was a very dynamic era. There was no, there was no teacher. There were just pioneers who were doing, thing, who were doing things. And, uh, and just, if, you, if, if we could just bring that back, the way the 60s have come back in fashion today, mm. in our clothes and our shoes, if we could bring that work ethic back, that madness, that that magic, that's what our business needs. And a trend that you would try, like to go away? I think uh, I, I, I'm not very happy with the trend of foul language, uh, 
you know, there's no, there's no discretion. Mm. There's no self discretion that, you know, there's a, there's a lot of uh, content that's coming out, which is uh, using a, a lot of uh, bad language. And yeah. I feel uncomfortable watching it at home with my family. So that's something that I don't think we, we I don't think we need it. I don't think yeah. it's part of our culture. But do you think, uh, because, you know, once Salman said that we need to check what is happening on OTT as well, because we have censorship in, in films. What are your thoughts on censorship when it comes to OTT platforms? Well, as I said earlier, uh, uh, I think you it is uh, the best kind of censorship is yeah. self-censorship. It has to be within you. It has to be your love and your respect for your actors, yeah. for yourself and for your country. The country that uh, that has a moral fiber that you're extremely aware of as an educated individual. You have an awareness of the moral fiber of this country of the moral limitations and uh, which you should not cross yeah. because it will boomerang you know and this was something I learned while making the dirty picture where you which you have to pick a line it was like walking on a sword's edge you have to titillate also you have yeah. to also make sure that it doesn't become vulgar and if you can have that line set somewhere in your mind because the challenge can come anytime it won't come in a room like this. It will come in a very difficult environment on a set with actors sweating, uh, co confused, under lights. You can't reach them. Yeah. You don't want to say things in front of people. At that point in time, that conscience of yours has to kick in and control the moment. Right. So you got to make it very, very strong inside you. Yeah. Tahir, uh, while, while going through all the comments, you know, there was one comment where someone said that Tahir is in the series. He has full of charm and has a lot of layers to it, adds lots of layers to his characters. How would you like to react to that comment and how do you make sure that every character that you're playing is different from the one that you have done it before? Uh, thank you. First of all, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know if you know the person's name, but whoever no. said that, um, I, I uh, have spent a number of years when I first moved to Mumbai looking for work. Um, and when you reach a stage when there is a certain amount of expectation because if the comment said Tahir is in the series and there will be layers, it's a it's the ultimate validation that you yeah. can get from an audience is that if someone is looking forward to watching something that you have done because they have seen yeah. your work in the past. So I just hope that I can fulfill whatever it is that they're looking for. And as far as layers are concerned, one couldn't have asked for a better part than, than Arjun Bhatia because very seldom do you get a, a, a hero who is... Um, fierce and macho but vulnerable and soft okay. at the same time and you get to play both those yeah. shades through the series. Yeah. I have final two questions because they are just waiting for me to wrap it up but uh, sir, uh, sir we just, you just spoke about Dirty Picture and uh, just reminded me that there are some uh, news that Dirty Picture 2 is going to come out. And you know, no, not, from, not from me, <laughs> <laughs> I've given what I had to. Yes, there, are, there has been speculation in the media but I, I don't think uh, I would want to revisit that film. I think it's very special. It has a very special place. It happened at a very special time with a very special actor mm -hmm. and uh, producer and uh, writer and uh, all of us. Uh, uh, it's now become part of who we are, and I don't think we can we can improve on it. Right. And lastly, uh, Vaidya Rahman uh, has been you know honored with uh, Dada Sahab Palke Award. What do you have to say about that? Each and every one of you, if you would like to. Hear. So happy! I've been like growing in my growing years. I've been such a great fan, and she's a legendary figure. There's so much of she is like an institution. One has through the generations, people have liked her in what she has done. People have inspired her from her. So, it's a great honor for for us as a citizen for this country. And uh, congratulations to her. And uh, yeah, thank you. I think when, when, when you think of grace and when you think of mm -hmm. presence, her name is definitely the yeah. first that comes to mind. So, a real icon yeah. and just congratulations. Milan, sir? I think uh, she's again an epitome of strength in Indian women. You know, yeah. making her debut in the 50s and doing powerful roles and surviving this long right. and keeping her dignity and keeping her, mm -hmm. you know, grace and her uh, beauty. And the way she carries herself, uh, I'm very, very happy. I, I'm always happy when, when, when people are honored uh, by the by the state at a time when they can enjoy it. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. that's so so important for an actor to in their twilight years to be able to enjoy this moment. And I'm sure 
uh, she will. So. Anupriya, yeah, she's been an idol, uh, both as a woman and as, a, as an actor. And yeah, as everyone said, you, the moment you think of her, you feel you feel graceful yourself. You know, just the thought of her yeah. kind of induces that kind of a feeling. So it's an honor for all of us, and uh, she's a beautiful actor and and a woman, and I'd always wish her the best. Uh, but I think she's a real gem of this country, and I'm extremely thrilled that she has got this recognition. Obviously, how Sir said that she's there to receive it. So, yeah, and obviously she has inspired a generation of actors, yeah. and she, I mean, from that time, if you see her now, also like she's the one of the most beautiful women, so so I'm extremely happy. Yeah. Well, on that note, thank you so much yeah, for our lovely conversation much. and all the very best for Sultan Thank you.